I love you, Michael. Sorry, I don't mean to be emotional, but going through. Hi YouTube, I'm here with Troy. How you doing, man? I'm living, brother. I'm living. Living, man. So let's just start at the beginning. Tell us about your your upbringing. What your childhood was like? It was a very, very good childhood. My mother was a district attorney in Holidaysburg, Pennsylvania, and my father was a Penn State um, professor. I had a good upbringing. I graduated high school and I went to college. I got a four year world history degree, but alcoholism and marijuana. I don't consider that a drug, but you know, I just did a lot of marijuana and ended up losing many, many jobs. I've had some good jobs. I'm a tree climber by trade, and i worked for Dominion Power for years, and just alcoholism and smoking reefer just brought me down, got me on the street, and I then I had to have brain surgery because I felt eight out of a tree landed on my head and back in 2017 I had brain surgery I haven't been able to climb a tree since because my equilibrium is way off yeah and actually I have a place the, the government pays for it I live over on Chamberlain and Burnham it's just an efficiency, but at least I've got a place to live. I, mean, I can cook. Keep you, keep you warm, don't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can cook and you know, shower, you know, watch TV. Yeah, you know, the government pays for it. Yeah, man. Yeah. I bet it is grateful to have on a cold night, ain't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Hey, how did you like? How, how did the alcohol start? I grew up with alcoholism. Okay. Uh, both my parents drank heavily, and my both sides, my grandparents, both sides, they drank heavily. My brother, he still drinks heavy, but he's 82nd Air Force. He's been in since the first Gulf War. Yeah, he's about to retire. And, uh, My sister didn't never drank. My sister's a school teacher. She never really drank. But you grew up seeing it your whole life. Yeah. And wow. Drove me to do it. <laughs> Was it around like college or after college that things, things started spiraling? After college. You ever been married? Any any children? Yeah, I have a daughter. I just became my grandfather. What well, um, congrats? November sixth, he was born. Twenty twenty one. And uh, you know, my daughter, she's twenty five. Her name's Alexis. She's in Pennsylvania, with up where my mama lives. My what? daddy's in yeah. Uh, Outer Banks, Kill Devil Hills, Outer yeah. Banks. Yeah, that's where my daddy said. When the last time you seen um your daughter? It's been a couple of years. I haven't never, I haven't even met my grandson yet. If she get to see this, what would you say to her? I love you, like. Sorry, I don't mean to be emotional, but going through this stuff it's hard yeah. especially with all the injuries you know, brain injury now 
pinch that nerve. You know what I mean? My equilibrium's off. I can't walk straight. Unless I do drink a couple of beers. Then I, normally I can, you know what I mean? I can function better. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty messed up. You know, I just turned 45 in August last year. August 4th, I'm Leo. And uh, I turned 45. I know I look like I'm probably 70. <laughs> but that's all the you know, wrinkles and scars. And, you know what I mean? What's some of the difficult things you've been going through on the street? Nothing really. I'm Native American. I like being outside. Like any like, like the hardships, like any stealing from you, robbing. Oh, I've had a lot of people steal from me. Yeah. Cheating. Yeah, yeah, that too. Hopefully, I'll meet another good woman and I'll tighten up. So you got some goals then. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them about that. You got some goals. Yeah. And and I mean, I wouldn't mind having another child. Yeah. I'm not too old to have a child. You know, I, I need, maybe I need a younger woman, but, but you know, I wouldn't mind having another child. And what I do now, I have a grandbaby. You know, he's only a couple months old, you know what I mean? I just haven't been up there to meet him yet. You know, I missed his first Christmas. The only reason I missed that is because I was in the Richmond City Jail. Uh, I was in the Richmond City Jail for uh, trespassing charge, a couple, couple, couple FTAs, uh, FTAs What's that? failure to appear. I got trespassing charges because I was passed out on BC property. Because all of this VCU property. Yeah, I know, pretty much. Yeah. BC, yeah, VCU owns all Richmond. You know what I mean? But I'm a VCU graduate. Okay. You know, so. But, excuse me. I, right there. I need to blow my nose. Go ahead. It's just cold out here right now. It's so cold. So if you could, like, give somebody any advice what advice would you give them don't become Troy Leibowitz that's my dad yeah just don't follow my footsteps because life can be a lot better